Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> we are going to start with Gemini. It is going to be December, the first two weeks of December, 2019. <clears throat> what I'm going to do first is your energy and then surrounding energies. That could be family, it could be friends, okay? It could be a lover. <clears throat> All right, so right off the bat, Gemini. We have the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> so remember, it's going to be you or the other person. <clears throat> For me, it's, it's going to be Gemini. <clears throat> but you could be dealing with another Gemini. So you just, you got to choose. <clears throat> Whoa, it is flying out. Okay, and now we have strength. So, one more for Gemini, please. First two weeks of December. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> Looks like there's an air sign and a Leo. You're both looking at each other. <clears throat> you know, um, looks like something is over. So to me, it's like, that's too many. Having the strength to move forward. Feeling betrayed. Wanting to snap out of it. <clears throat> okay, so now you have the king of wands. So, Lucy's is breathing awfully heavy in you guys' ear. I'm so sorry about that. But I, I do not want to move her. Because she's been rambunctious and she needs to rest. Okay. So... <clears throat> Let's see. Hold on, my cards. We got one over here. All right. So I don't know. It looks like a sense, a, a feel of betrayal. Um, and and having the strength to you know move forward in a situation. When I split the deck, we got a completely different sense of energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo or any other air sign. You could be dealing with any sign, okay? Gemini, Ten of Swords. Um, you did learn from something, so, but you're still questioning or looking at each other, whatever it's regarding, okay? And <clears throat> it is still like being discontent with something. So, Ten of Swords, Gemini, <clears throat> which is nice you're getting out over that because you're definitely overcoming whatever was happening. Gemini, Ten of Swords, please. First two weeks of December, 2020. 2019, sorry, troops. I knew that was going to happen. That's way too many. Okay. So, we have the Queen of Pents in the Sun. You have double Leo on the board. Could be dealing with the Leo. But this is Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn. Energy, you could be any of those zodiacs if you ask me. It's just you're no longer nurturing something. But what this was, I see that you see it had potential the way you're coming in, okay? But now it's like not nurturing it. It's it's done, it's over. Clearly you got some type of clarity or you will. Because you're no longer nurturing that, that type of energy. Tell me about the strength card. Yeah, the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay, so it looks like someone's about to lay the weight down when it comes to something. It looks like they're going to have the strength because they're now overcoming something. You're now overcoming something. 
where before you didn't have the strength. So something has definitely come to its, its end. Got the moon reverse. So yeah, something was, was revealed. I feel like there's so much more being said that's not being said. Tell me about the King of Wands. Two of Cups. What else? It's too many. One did fall. Sorry about that, troops. Hold on. You have an Aries type energy or somebody is coming in strong. It's like after they regain the strength, something needs to be exposed first. Something needs to be laid to rest. Then you have an Aries coming at you. Or you're going towards someone. It looks like it might be the same person, but something just needs to be laid to rest. Tell me about the sun real quick. Magician. See, there was a lesson here. There was something that was learnt. Somebody stopped putting energy into something. The hard thing is, I think this was somebody with the sun being like, n knowing there was room for potential or growth, but, um, hold on, knowing there was room for potential or growth, but still having to let it go. To me, I think it's the sun is speaking about a Leo or someone in a Leo energy. The person who you're dealing with, because look at the way you guys are looking at each other. So the person that you're dealing with, it's, it's almost like they need to expose, like a Leo needs to expose something and drop the weight. Because something's been manifested. And it looks like, say you are dealing with a Leo, they're going to come back in with, an, with Aries type energy. You know, um, offering a cup. Hi, buddy. I'm almost done this. Give me a kiss. Like five Come more minutes. Hey. Can I go to Jaylee's? Love you. No. 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 Shh, Lucy. No, dude. What the hell? I'm doing a video. Can you give me five what minutes and I will be minutes? out? Yes. I'll be out in five minutes. You shut the door behind you. Take Lucy with you. Yeah, I'm taking her. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption. So, it does look like this po person needs to lay some weight down. Something needs to be exposed here so they can come back and, and, and offer this. Talk about this. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, see, in order for them to have a new start, something needs to be exposed. This is the same energy coming back in a leadership position. Tell me about the Two of Cups. So you, you do have a new start. It's, it's almost like the minute you laid something to rest... It's like something wants to come back around. The Emperor. Very strong. Strong Aries energy we're dealing with here. Tell 
Tell me about the magician real quick. Knight of Swords, you're definitely going to get a message. you got an Aquarius sitting at the bottom of the deck, too. You could be dealing with a man in uniform, government official, um, an entrepreneur. You guys definitely know who you are to each other. See something real quick. You have a new stat within the next two weeks. Gemini. So as of right now, you're going through a personal transformation. So I'm not going to read it all, but, you know, basically, your soul is assisting you with creating change to align your new life's purpose. There's, there's something here. Anything that's not essential needs to be transformed. You need to trust what's happening, okay? Um, this is def definitely someone going towards their, their destiny. This is... Um, it, it's, it's almost like these energies are yearning for each other. So let's get a glimpse at the other energy around you real quick. So there's a new star coming towards you or you're sending one out there. Something's already kind of been manifested. Something definitely needed to end. Others of you is someone you know coming back around. And others of you, is it's just a brand new start. And what went down needed to go down. And things look great. Along your journey, you will find new love. There will be something worth investing time into. A majority of you, though, are going through a personal transformation right now, and it's somebody you know coming back around. It's definitely someone you stopped putting energy and time into. Okay, so this is the your surrounding energies, whether it's person, place, thing, child, lover, however it is. So you got the world, the ten of pence, and the two of swords. So someone's about to make a decision, and it would actually go this way. Someone's about to make a decision to, to leave a family or to leave a job. If you're leaving a job, you have a new offer right here, regardless. Well, this is their energy. So it's almost like in order for them to complete this, this is like a wrap up to have that ace of pence, to have that new start. So somebody is making a decision to wrap up either a job or a family, whomever energy this is to you. You do have the queen of pence here now upright. Looks like possibly entering a new contract, some type of message, judgment. Tell me about the world. This is also Saturn. <clears throat> yeah, you got the devil and the tower. So it's, you're overcoming the, the devil energy to have a brand new beginning with that tower. This could be your energy too, okay? And this could be somebody else's. It's, it's vice versa, however it works for you. But somebody is getting themselves out of a toxic situation. To me, it looks clearly like a household. Especially with the fool right there. This is, it's, it's almost like Saturn's going to come in and clean house. Whomever this person is. Which makes a lot of sense because I, I see it here. Something needed to end for it to come back around.
um, holy major arcana. Karmic cycle needs to end for a new one to take off. And uh, I mean, Ten of Pentacles to me represents a, a family. Others of you, this is them and it's regarding work. It's a new job, but that does not look that way to me. It definitely looks like an ending of something toxic, some type of relationship. So in the next two weeks, they're making this decision. They, It doesn't look like they have much of a choice. I, I really hate saying that, but I mean, honest to God, with the world, the devil, and the tower, something's not okay. Like someone's foundation is crumbling. But it is the way it's supposed to be, especially with the fool, that's, that's a journey. So... I want to say that they they get to make their decision, but considering the world and the towers here, and the original energy was the Ten of Swords, it's it's a permanent ending for a new beginning. Okay, so I hope that helps. Okay. Bye guys. Oh, also, I am still doing readings at the bottom of the, in the, sorry, in the, my daughter just walked in, in the description box below this video, there are options for readings for, you will see three different options. Um, the, it's all the same exact reading, okay? It, it's basically to, to give you guys the option of what you can afford, okay? So, that is available. And then obviously you can get more, hold on, yeah, more detail, okay, more detailed message because this, this is a general, even though it's pretty detailed, okay, but I love you guys, bye.